In this video we will be looking at the concept of compound expressions. Now to try and explain it, let's look at this example. It says write a program that reads a temperature from the user and displays moderate if the temperature is between 20 and 30 degrees. So in terms of what you would be used in, in mathematics for example, you'll have the variable temperature and you simply say temperature is greater than or equal to 20 and less than or equal to 30 and if it's in that range we'll display moderate. So in terms of a C-sharp program if we want to apply the principles from maths we would want to have the following if statement. So you ask the user for, to enter a temperature and then you say 20 less than or equal to temperature less than or equal to 30 if uh, and then you print moderate. But notice that kind of syntax in C-sharp is incorrect. We cannot say it as we do in maths. So the question is, how do we formulate that condition for the if statement to print moderate? And the way to look at it is to see that uh, it's actually two separate conditions. One says the temperature must be greater than or equal to 20. The other one says the temperature must also be less than or equal to 30. So in terms of English we could say the temperature is greater than or equal to 20 and or as well as the temperature is less than or equal to 30. Okay so this is how we would want to say it then in C sharp. Notice the two symbols that replaces the and or that is equivalent to and in C sharp. So this if statement says if the temperature is greater than or equal to 20 and the temperature is less than or equal to 30 right line moderate. But there's still something wrong in this if statement. Remember when we started with the if statement we said the condition must be in brackets. So we have the two separate conditions in brackets but the total com uh, condition or the compound condition needs to be in brackets as well. So this then would be the uh, valid syntax where we have the compound condition temperature greater than or equal to 20 and temperature less than or equal to 30 all of that in brackets. So let's just try and make sure you understand what the AND means. So if the user enters a 15 then clearly the first condition greater than or equal to 20 is false but the second condition is true it's, it's less than or equal to 30. But for the AND condition to be true, both the subconditions must be true. So in that case, nothing will be displayed. If the user enters 35, the first condition is true because 35 is greater than 20. But the second condition is false because 35 is not less than or equal to 30. Once again, nothing will be displayed because the, the bigger condition is not true. If the user, however, enters 25, then the first condition is true, the second condition is true, and because both are true, and we have an AND, it means that the full condition is true, and we'll have moderate displayed. Okay, the other uh, operator that we need to use is the OR. So let's see, the question now reads as follows. Write a program that reads a temperature from the user and displays extreme if the temperature is below 20 or above 30. So instead of the AND characters, notice what we use is the two vertical bars. It's normally on the top right hand side of your keyboard. You enter two of them and that replaces the OR. So this if statement says if the temperature is less than 20 or if the temperature is greater than 30, right line extreme. Okay, so let's go through a few examples that test whether you understand the all. So if the user enters a 15, then the first condition is true. Obviously the second condition is false, but for the all we only need one of the two conditions to be true. So extreme is displayed. If the user enters a 35, the first condition is false. The second condition now is true. And since we have only one of them already true, extreme will be displayed. If the user, however, enters a 25, then the first condition is false. The second condition is also false. Because both of them are false, nothing will be displayed. 
we also have the choice of using the not operator in in a um, boolean condition so let's look at this example write a program which reads in an age and displays old if someone is older than 60 so this is a very basic if statement you say if age is greater than 60 right line old but now we change the question slightly we say write a program which reads in an age and displays young if someone is not older than 60 and that is what we do with the if condition there we put the age greater than 60 in brackets and before the brackets we put the exclamation sign which means not and then we have brackets around the whole thing so that statement reads if not age is greater than 60 right line young obviously there's another way of saying that you would simply say if age is less than or equal to 60 right line young in this case you don't need the uh, the not operator but that's just the other way of doing it i want to end off with these two interesting cases that one needs to be aware of when you program notice in the first one we says say if x is less than 20 or if x is greater than 10 now it's interesting to note that it's impossible to find a value that will not make one of these conditions true. Anything up to 19 will make the first one true, and anything greater than 10 from 11 upwards will make the second one true. So because one of the two conditions will always be true, the compound condition is always true. You cannot give me a value of x that will make both conditions false so the compound condition in this this if statement is always true so it's kind of an if statement that doesn't really make sense the same applies to the second if statement now we say if x is less than 20 and x is greater than 30 so this is now just the opposite you cannot give me a number that is less than 20 as well as greater than 30 so it is impossible to have a value for x that will make this compound condition true. So this compound condition is always false and thus does not really make sense to use.